Good morning, Raiders. I'm Patricia Terry. And I'm Aiden Garver. And, and this, this is, is RJ TV. First up on RJTV, shout out to our mock trial and speech and debate teams. Mock trial competed in regionals last week. And speech and debate closed out their season with wins from Joni Livadari, first place in humor, Sofia Rivera, finalist in congressional debate, and Emil Nidkum, second in humor. Brady Oakleaf, third in national debate, Bridget Smith, fourth in drama, and Ali Pelota, third in drama. And another shout out to J.P. Paredes and Elise Kuhn, who both qualified for the CU Denver Songwriters Competition with their original music. They will perform live at the King Center next Friday. Here's a sneak peek. Our seniors began immersions this week. Let's continue to keep them in our prayers throughout the next week. This week's Ash Wednesday Mass marked the beginning of the Lenten season. Shout out to the Chemistry Club, who prepared and burned palms for our ashes for Ash Wednesday. And let's continue to pray for peace in the world and pray for the people of Ukraine. I heard the spring play opens at the end of the month. That's right. The box office is open for the two-week run of Little Shop of Horrors. I had a chance to go behind the scenes with the crew and set designers who are working hard to bring the show to life. Check it out. These are the sounds after school in the Z Theater. This year's stage crew for Little Shop of Horrors has been working hard to make this year's show a success. The crew, um, it's very lighthearted. Um, it's a big project, but just what we've done and what we've accomplished so far, we're being very ambitious. Of the obstacles they've overcome, none have compared to the construction of the famed character, Audrey II. The biggest struggle has been trying to figure out how to make our puppets. Uh, we have some really massive puppets that we're building as part of the show. Uh, the largest one right now is about eight foot tall. The crew has been a huge factor in manufacturing this year's show. Knowing that the design for this project would be difficult, all the different teams have come together to make something great. I think that our designers and our leads for the show have come up with some really great uh, ideas. I'm really excited for um, just seeing the show all to come together. And it is a great opportunity um, to get to use your hands, uh, to get to think through problems and figure out practical solutions. The puppet is going to be a nice surprise of what is going to be in the play, so stay tuned for that. The crew kept their plans a secret to not spoil the show. For more surprises and secrets, go see Little Shop of Horrors in the last week of March and first week of April in the Z Theater. This is Aiden Garver for RJTV. Thanks, Aiden. I can't wait to see the show. Another crew that's been working hard for the big stage is our RJ Robotics team. They tested out their robot that shoots and climbs at last week's practice competition in preparation for the state competition at Denver University later this month. Now let's throw it over to Sterling Howorth and Annie Pardon for our Raiders sports update. Hot, 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 hot,
Thanks, Aiden and Patricia. I'm Sterling Howarth. And I'm Annie Pardon, and this is your Raider Sports Update. The Regis hockey team made it to the second round of the playoffs at Magnus Arena. After a hard fight, they fell to Fort Collins 4-1. They finished the season with a 15-2-2 record and are currently ranked fourth in the nation. We are proud of you. Both your girls' and boys' basketball teams made it to the Sweet 16 playoffs. In close games, the girls fell to Chaparral and the boys fell to Legacy. Way to go, Raiders. We're very proud of you. But basketball season is not over yet. Go cheer on your Special Olympics team next Wednesday at 7 in the GD Gym against the State Troopers. The theme is superhero. Be there. Hey, Sterling, how about this weather we're having? You're right, Annie. It's been amazing, and you know what that means. Yes, spring sports are here. Tomorrow, your boys' rugby team plays at Denver East in the Boopal at East at noon. Be, be there. there! Track and field will be busy with time trials all day tomorrow in Lou Kellogg Stadium. And next Thursday kicks off the season for varsity girls soccer at Arapahoe, track and field at Castleview, volleyball at Eagle Crest, girls tennis in Grand Junction, and your girls lacrosse team against Colorado Academy at 530 at Lou Kellogg. Boys lacrosse opens their season next Friday versus Grandview at home. Boys swimming is already in the water. They began their season yesterday at Heritage. They will swim against Fossil Ridge next Thursday in the bubble. That's all for sports. Back to you, Aiden and Patricia. Thanks, Sterling and Annie. That's all we have for you this week, Raiders. See you next time on RJTV.